get it squeezing a little bit. A little bit. There we go. Okay. What's that? Uh, absolutely. Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, thank you all for joining us. We're here um, at the press conference today to follow up on an announcement we made last week regarding the filing of charges uh, against a person um, we believe was responsible for a homicide. We did not have a body uh, in at that time. On Sunday, January 16th, members of the Fresno County Sheriff's dive team recovered a body from the bottom of the California Aqueduct, located in the area of South Siskiyou and West Doris Avenues near Huron. The victim, a woman, was later identified as 30-year-old Missy Hernandez of Fresno. Hernandez has been missing 40 days prior to this discovery. I will introduce uh, Assistant DA Jerry Stanley who's with us today, as well as the executive director of the Marjorie Mason Center, Nicole Linder, who will also speak. Um, the Marjorie Mason Center is a local women's shelter for domestic violence victims. Due to the suspicious circumstances surrounding her disappearance and significant time passing with no sign of Hernandez, detectives presumed her to be deceased. Based on digital evidence later discovered during the investigation, Several locations were identified as places to search for Missy's body. On two separate occasions, our search and rescue team was assisted by the Kern County Sheriff's search and rescue team as they combed the grapevine portion of Interstate 5, checking areas in Fraser Park and Lebec. Meanwhile, two separate ground searches were also conducted along the 198 corridor in western Fresno County. After not having any success, a decision was made on January 16th to attempt a dangerous dive operation in the specific area of the California Aqueduct. This was conducted by the Fresno County Sheriff's dive team. The move would ultimately bring a sense of closure as Hernandez's body was discovered weighted down beneath the surface. I will tell you that this team effort cannot be stressed enough. Uh, not only with Sheriff's Office personnel, the District Attorney's Office personnel, but all of our search and rescue volunteers. Uh, we had men and women drop what they were doing, come and help us search the aqueduct, the banks of the aqueduct in that area to find Missy's body. Why it's such a dangerous dive is because, first of all, the temperature of the water. Uh, it's in the low 40s in that area. We did work with California Water Resources to stop the flow of water while we were conducting the search. We had several divers go into the water over a period of about three hours, spending just about 30 minutes each in the water searching for Missy's body. Deputy Teresa Avienda is here. Uh, she was the diver that eventually discovered Missy's body. Uh, with that, I will turn it over to Nicole Linder. Thank you, Sheriff Nims, um, for inviting me to speak today. Um, and I just want to thank the entire team who participated um, in bringing closure to this situation. Um, there's nothing more heartbreaking for a family to have a loved one un missing. Um, and as heartbreaking as this is, providing this closure will allow them to um, start the process to heal. Um, this is the worst case scenario. You know, at the Marjorie Mason Center, uh, our whole entire mission for over 40 years has been to strive and prevent the end, uh, the cycle of abuse. And sadly, um, Missy's death is, is not the only one that has happened this year. Um, there have been multiples, uh, but this is exactly what we have tried to prevent as an organization. I've heard it said there's no on and off switch for love. Um, few people 
get hurt on their very first date. Our muscle memory wants to forgive. Um, and what we try to encourage people um, at the Marjorie Mason Center is that you should never use the word scared or afraid when discussing someone you should be in a loving or committed relationship with. It's very, it's very, very often for individuals to want to reconcile and voluntarily violate a restraining order in order to forgive. And I think today our goal is to remind people that a dangerous person will continue to remain dangerous. Domestic violence is all about power and control. Oftentimes people ask, why doesn't the person just leave? There's a lot of reasons a person doesn't leave. One, fear, finances, their children, our family, our culture. But it's the most dangerous thing somebody can do. And I think we're all standing up here collectively to say that we can't help you if you're not alive and we want to be a re resource. So whether it's the Marjorie Mason Center, whether it's law enforcement, whether it's your physician, um, somebody you engage with at school or somebody who's a trusted person with you, the most brave thing you can do to save yourself is to tell somebody, I need help and I need you to help me get it. Um, find somebody who you feel is that safe person. Um, and if you ever even just have questions about the feelings that you are having, fear, being afraid, you can just call confidentially the Marjorie Mason Center hotline and just ask questions to process. We are here for you. Good morning, I'm Jerry Scan with the DA's office. Uh, as DA Smith Camp stated last week, I'd like to reiterate thanks to uh, the, law, the men and women of law enforcement. The Sheriff's Office did an incredible job, very diligent, quality police work, and uh, we cannot thank them enough. The men and women of the homicide team, their criminal analyst, as well as the die team. And while today's announcement uh, is both sad and meaningful for Missy's family and her loved ones, it will not change the charges in the case. It does, however, add a critical new evidentiary component to the case that will help in our pursuit of justice for Missy and her family. Again, I want to thank the Sheriff's Department for their very, very hard work. And I want the public to know that we have a very robust domestic violence team and unit, and we do everything we can to prevent these sorts of outcomes. Sometimes we cannot prevent them, but we do everything we can. And I want the public to know that. Thank you. Again, I want to thank uh, the Kern County Sheriff's Office and their search and rescue team as they provided uh, their assistance to us. As you can tell by the photographs up here, you can tell the level of assistance that we got from our search and rescue team who are volunteers as well as Sheriff's Department personnel. Uh, I can't stress enough the importance, the important work and professionalism that our homicide unit showed um, with this investigation. Um, Detectives Jesse, Gloria, Lieutenant Purcell, um, our dive team, uh, again, the temperature of that water, limited visibility uh, in that water. Uh, they could not uh, touch the bottom because of the silt that would rise up, which would bring visibility to zero. So patience was the order of the day uh, when that happened to let that silt settle back so they could continue their work. So with that, I'll open it up to any questions. I will tell you that we are not going to reveal our digital evidence that was used uh, on these locations or exactly the manner of death uh, to Missy. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. Yes, the digital evidence that I, I mentioned showed that as a possible location where she could be found, as well as many different locations. It went way beyond Fresno County. Uh, but th the decision to dive in that location was kind of because we didn't find her anywhere else. So that's where we went. He was from Fresno. The homicide occurred on South Chestnut. The aqueduct is on the far west side of Fresno County. Uh, he determined that was just a, a hiding place uh, to dump her body. Any other questions? Yeah. 
you know, our, our uh, personnel did talk about how the relief that they felt. Um, this was a very important case. All our homicide cases are. Uh, but we knew that it was very important to find Missy's body. And by doing that, there truly was not only the relief and closure for our personnel, but also for Missy's family. Like I stated, like like I stated a moment ago, I mean the case is pending, so I can't comment in, in too much detail with respect to evidence. However, it does add a, a, a critical component that should assist us in the uh, prosecution of the case. Any other questions? All right, thank you all. <laughs>